you haven't tried ice fishing, get out there, give it a shot. These fish get finicky, whether it's bluegills, crappies, you name it. Just maximize your opportunities and maximize those bite windows, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. My sled rigged up here for ice fishing. It's kind of like my, my winter bass boat. This will outperform a horizontal application. We get to a spot and we're out catching fish. Matt Johnson here with Clam Outdoors. You know a lot of anglers in the last, I would say, five years especially, but actually over a decade, have been fishing inline reels. These fly-type reels, spooler reels, you hear all kinds of terms for this type of setup. And I'm gonna talk to you why I lean on this heavily when I'm fishing. And there's multiple reasons to fish this inline reel. One, and the most commonly talked about, is gonna be line twist. When the line comes off this reel, it comes straight down. It's not being coiled or spun in. Drag resistance isn't putting twist in this line. It comes straight off. So when you're fishing finicky fish, whether it's bluegills, crappies, perch, trout, even walleyes, guys are fishing this type of reel if they want to eliminate line twist. So that's the most common way, and that's what you're gonna hear most people talk about. But I'm gonna tell you a little more as to why I favor this kind of reel. I think a lot of times as anglers, especially ice fishing, we fish way too fast. We got our spinning reel, we open that bail, and we bomb that lure down to a fish. We drop that thing so fast to that fish that if I was a fish and that lure came out to me, I'm going to stop and look up at what's coming down. It's like throwing a rock. If you throw a rock at me, I'm going to dodge, move, duck, weave to get away from it. When I have to fish this presentation by pulling line out by hand, it forces me to slow down what I'm doing and I can work that entire water column and feather that bait down to the fish. So now I have no line twist, which is important, and I'm slowing down how I'm fishing. So especially in under 20 feet, let alone under 10 feet, slowing down what you do is important because many of these fish are not just bottom hugging, they're throughout the water column. In fact, they're even right under the ice at times. And if we bomb that lure down to them, we don't catch those fish. So line twist, speed, super important. I'm dealing with one to one gear ratio reels or two three to one gear ratio reels so you're not talking about spinning reels where you can reel up extremely fast and quick i'm talking one to one two three to one so your retrieve is going to slow down so in many ways this reel in my opinion will outperform the spinning reel types if you're targeting finicky fish shallow water fish so if you haven't used one of these inline reels to catch fish I would encourage you to give it a shot, throw it on a pan fish setup, that seems to be the best application, and give it a, a whirl and see if it catches more fish for you. And they're a whole lot of fun. So inline reels are catching fish, catching anglers, and you're gonna see them in the industry for a long time to come.